regarding our potential project at, at the athletic complex, uh, they just have some thoughts and ideas that might be felt would be beneficial for the kids, the community, etc. So, do you guys want to take it away right off the bat? And they can just walk in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. How's everybody doing tonight? Good. Uh, thanks for having us. Um, uh, right off the bat, the, the feeling I have on uh, hopefully the uh, the upgrades of the facilities and so on. I think it's a great opportunity for um, for you guys to really put your your your, your thumbprint on uh, the facilities down there and really make that facility pop and really give the community and and, and the kids uh, the the ability to succeed at the highest level. Um, I think uh, you know as far as me speaking as a, as a football coach in general. As a facility down there, I think the, the, the turf I think needs to be upgraded. Um, you know, we, we have kids the past uh, three years, my fourth year, now the past four, four years are getting just get torn up, torn up. Uh, it's like playing on concrete. Some of some of those spots. I mean, literally the skin's coming right off their legs because the turf is just laying flat. You know, and, and it's really hard. Um, love to see stands on the other side. You know, I, I think that's something that would really make the the feeling of walking into a stadium and so on. I think if uh, you know a good example of that would be, you know, if you can make it on a Friday night, particularly this Friday, that you're going to see that we're going to need it. Uh, we're going to have a, have a have a great turnout here, a great crowd. Um, uh, so I think the stands would be huge. Um, as far as like a locker room or another area down there, personally, I came from Delaware Valley. I was in the same situation there at DV to where, you know, we were looking to upgrade the facilities. We have stands on one side. And, I kind of go on what they did now as far as, it's, I know it's different school districts and different scenarios and so on, but what they were able to do is put another facility on the other side with, with uh, where the bleachers were, and that was another team room. It gave us more space for storage, bathrooms. They actually have a concession on that side also, which not particularly do we need that, but just gave that ability to have, you know, another space for, uh, you know, the, the opposing team, soccer or track or you know, when the junior Wildcats are down there, the ability for that other team to be able to use that and have two separate areas to where, you know, not in the same building as far as the two teams. And, you know, and again, just multiple sports. For example, like soccer right now, if, they have, if they're down there, they could use that facility and not have to worry about uh, coming into the, the football locker room and not feel uncomfortable or whatever it might be. Um, so being able to see that happen there at Delaware Valley, see them, you know, really make that facility something that the community was so proud of. You know, it, it's something to really, I think you guys have the opportunity to do that. You know, and I would love to be able to see that, that type of stuff happen down there. Um, you know, uh, looking to see, like, you, what, are you looking for me to say like what, like a wish list type of thing or? Go for it. You, you know, I, 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 you know, <laughs> well, I explain the, the soccer situation with football and the crossovers. So they're actually using the locker rooms as you guys are coming in and out as well? Well, I mean, well, it, and that, well that, that's not so much that they're using it, but if they have to use the restroom, they have to use the restroom. You know, and there's a locker room and, and I think, uh, you know, there's no place for them to put their stuff, let alone equipment. I mean, there's zero storage for equipment. I think the storage bill ability for just for equipment uh, year round is a necessity, regardless of what happens. I mean, I think that's a necessity. Um, but even for like the the junior high kids, soccer kids, they're all putting their bags everywhere. They put their bags. They're just laying. They're laying all over the facility. They're laying all. They're outside. Like if it's raining, they're they're getting wet. I mean, they have no place to put stuff. They have no place to put stuff. Um, so being able to have that have another area, another team room, um, would, would, be, would be a huge plus. And I know there's a situation there as far as water and so on. Uh, but again, I mean, that, that's, you know, that, that's not up to me, unfortunately. You know, that, but uh, you know, as far as me, I mean, you know. Well, if, if I could back you up, Randy. Yeah. Um, just some feedback with the enhancements we did, the renovations that we did to the middle school gym and the high school gym. Um, just there was there was tremendous positive feedback with the revitalization of those two areas and oftentimes these are the you know those are our opportunities to make uh, you know the impression on, on visiting teams our community and most importantly to our kids that you know we take you know your activities very seriously and as far as the the storage I, I can concur with that it's funny I'm uh, the other night, I'm digging pole vault poles out from above your locker, your lockers, and there's yeah, there's, it's just, there really is we're on top of each other because you know the athletics in the time that I've been here, uh, as far as every season, every sport has really grown. 
I mean, I think uh, I think the coaches in this school district have done a fantastic job. I think if things are going in the right direction. People are excited about being a part of a program, no matter what sport it is. And I just think, you know, he, he mentioned the, uh, the the gymnasiums. I know when I went to, went to school, I went to North Pocono, and even when you came to Western Wayne, it wasn't that feeling. When you came to Western Wayne, it was a dark, dreary place. That has all changed. I mean, you guys have done a great job of that. I mean, it, it, you, you've changed all that. You walk into the gym now, and people are like, wow, you know, this is really nice. I mean, between the, the new bleachers, the new court, the new lighting, I mean, it's really, really something nice. Um, again, talking to the community that I, that I live in now, uh, again, total different situation, but if you walk into that football stadium and they have the colored end zones, which I think would be great, the colored end zones and the, and, and the turf and, the, and the, the new turf and the stands, I mean, you walk in and you're like, wow, this is, this is nice. And I think that's something that I'd love to have this community be able to be a part of and be proud of. You know? and, it's for, and again, I, I, it's not a football field. I'm not talking as a football coach here. I'm talking as somebody who wants to see every program thrive, whether it's the Junior Wildcat, uh, Wildcats, whether it's the band when they used the, the uh, they had that great thing the other night, uh, the uh, Cavalcade. 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 Thank you, the Cavalcade, uh, soccer, whatever it might be, to be able to, people from the community come there and be like, we look forward to going to the games because of that facility. Yeah. Something that really, really be proud of. That turf gets used oh, almost, goodness, yes. almost yes. all year long outside of, of that period of snow time, but we've, you know, down in the spring, we've we've got softball down there. We've got baseball mm -hmm. down there too. Uh, we're we're training extensively on the turf because it's a softer surface. But um, I I do feel that you know the our athletes respond have responded to you know the enhancements to the the gyms. I think there'll be an overwhelming you know positive response to to an enhancement to to the complex down there. As far as we were touched briefly on storage. Uh, I feel that the, the life of our equipment will get extended if we have a suitable place to store it. We were talking pole vault poles, track and field equipment. Hurdles, yeah. Um, having to, to bend bags. things in and out of, in and out of the, mm -hmm. uh, the locker rooms. Mm -hmm. and, and after being here for football games and, and seeing the visiting team that can't completely get into that visiting locker room area because of, of how tiny it is, um, you know, it's just, it's less than ideal for sure. So. Yeah, I, I just think it's an exciting time right now. It's an exciting time at Western Wayne. Um, the fact that there's, there's a possibility of doing this stuff, I think, I think it's an exciting time to be around it. I think you guys have the great opportunity to make this place even better. Um, and really put your, like I said, your thumbprint on it. Be like, I was a part of that and be proud of it. And, and have the kids be proud of it. Have the community be proud of it. And I'd love to be a part of it for a really long time. Um, I mean, I mean, I know, New, new track. We're ready. Yeah, anybody that's been down there walking on it, but I think we've kind of maxed out the, the useful life of that. Yeah. certain parts that are starting to. I mean, it's being, it's being used. I mean, it really is. It's being used by numerous uh, numerous sports. Does anybody have any questions or anything like that? Or well, I just, I, Matt Simmons sent me a text today and he had a letter, he got a letter, but it kind of says exactly to what you guys are saying about. The storage for first and foremost. He has nowhere to put stuff. He's telling you guys too that he takes the stuff home with him. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's, I guess that's okay sometimes. But sometimes it'd be better just to have it here anyway. But um, anyway, what you said is basically what he said too. The sort of you know, that's Yeah, Matt, <coughs> Matt sent an email. He, he said he's not able to be here tonight because uh, he does have a soccer game. But uh, the turf, he said it gets really matted down in certain areas. Uh, and he's coached on it since it was originally put in there. Uh, he asked if, if it is replaced, can, they, can we consider putting the old turf in an area for a practice facility, mm -hmm. some spot? That can't happen because the uh, contractor that came in, he said that they cut it up in four foot pieces, four foot wide pieces, and roll it up and ship it out. I think it can be reused. In some spots, I think he said, mentioned something like uh, batting cages. Yeah, like yeah. I, 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 like I, I've been to facilities that they have done that, though. I mean, I'm not right. sure what, what the con what's going on in our area, but I have been in places where they have reused that would be terrific again. Now, can they do the whole field? I don't think so, but right. but or certain areas, yes, absolutely. Um, storage. He has highlighted bold face. Uh, same thing about where you know he takes it home with them. Um, puts it in the ticket booth to sort sometimes. Um, another entrance, a uh, set of bleachers on the other side, a, a team room, another team room for the soccer team. Um, so 
place to meet, watch film, and um, you know, utilize the practice areas more effectively if, if they're able to. So that I mean, those are some similar yeah. thoughts that they have. In and, and, and I have one, one small, and not small thing, not that small. I understand that I use that term, but even like uh, it, depending on the availability of space and so on, would be another like weight room area to where. Um, you know, as far as me being in season, I would love to be able to have my the, the boys lift twice a week. Right now, we do once on Mondays because we're in the school. We watch film of the, of the Friday before, then they work out to go down. During the week, our time is so tight. By the time we will have our kids in practice and walk up, go to the weight room, work out, and go back down, I'd have to lose probably a good half hour of practice time, or or, or if not more. And I know it might not seem like a lot, but during the season, every single minute is accounted for on every single day for playing a Friday night football game. And I don't do that. I don't have time to do that. I can't. So if football was down there to where I would think maybe even, not to speak for the track program, but other programs were practicing down there, you could send half the kids in there to get a lift, get a little workout in while you're working with other kids, and it could be a lot more of a uh, utilized space. Um, to make the logistics. Yeah, it, I mean, again, I, 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 Swing it for the fences, you know, so, so, so to speak. I mean, that would be like something that would, would really benefit, I think, multiple programs, multiple programs, you know. And again, I'm not, looking for, not asking for another weight room, but another area that could be, you could put some weight, uh, you know, uh, weight equipment, you know, and, and you would be able to use it for, again, for the athletes, for, for the students that go to the school. And that's the biggest thing I would like to share is that this is not for us. This is for the kids. It's for them to make everything better for the students of Western Way. I mean, that's the bottom line. It's all about for the kids and how to make the facilities better for them to, um, to be able to perform, you know, and give them the best opportunity to play at the best level possible at, at any sport or whatever they're, whatever they're doing, whatever activity it might be. And that's why I'm here. I mean, I'm not here, I'm here for the football program, so to speak, but I'm here for every kid in the district or everybody in the community because I think it's something that could be really, really great. I have to say, too, it's just so impressive to come down there and to see the amount of kids that are on that field and all over. It really is a great thing to see and be a part of. It's awesome yeah. how many kids really are down there. Yeah, it's, it, you know, I'm a firm believer, and obviously I'm, day, I'm, yeah. I'm a firm believer in, in, a, in any type of extracurricular activity. I think it's the oil that makes the engine run in school. When things are going well in athletics or extracurricular or drama and man and so on, I think academics will be up. I know from the football team, I'm a firm believer in academics and you know I'm on my kids every single day about academics behavior I think is down um, I think school spirit would be up I think a lot of positives come from kids being involved in extracurricular activities and I think that improving those facilities will invite more kids to be involved in it I think you're not gonna have a kid say no that place is too nice I don't want to go there you know that that's not gonna be said so I just think you guys have the opportunity to really you know Hit it out of the park, so to speak. So, as we consider what changes or improvements to make down there, I think you guys' uh, input is vital because you know best how you how to use the uh, mm -hmm. equipment and the property to the to suit your sports the best. So please stay involved with Dr. Barrett or Mr. Dunder or whoever needs to be uh, is going to help. Uh, and I know we had a subcommittee that discussed yeah. a lot of different options and looked at uh, possible locations for storage. Mm -hmm. uh, I know there were several different options discussed. That kind of thing without without your input, we're kind of just gonna we're gonna kind of guess where we're gotcha. where we gotcha. should put no, it. So if I'll, it's best as a separate building tied to our existing building yep. under the bleachers on the opposite side of the field, yep. that yep. kind of stuff. Yep. Without your input, we I would we're gladly guess. Gladly would love to be a part of. It. I, yep. I really would. Uh, give it some thought, too. please. Yep. Uh, either subcommittee or, like I said, any of these guys. We, I think we need the input to make the right decisions. Yeah, yeah. And and, and again, to go back to real, I'll be done. Uh, DB, the one thing that was really said, if you're going to do it, do it right. Yeah. Because you're not going to do it again for another 15 years. So if you have an opportunity to do it, do it the right way and get it done the right way because you're never going to go back and say, we'll get to that. It never happens. You know that. It's yeah. not at your house. Never mind. Yeah. yeah. You know? I appreciate that you mentioned that, Rick, because yeah. we would love to be a part of it. Yeah. And we, you know, whatever time through is necessary. The AD, through, again, I don't yeah, know whatever you guys need. What yeah. the proper channel is there, whether you go through AD or through yep. uh, our subcommittee or through... Uh, Buildings and grounds, or what? But please, thank you. And I guess if we're going to start considering this more uh, seriously, the input the sooner the better. Awesome. Sounds good. You know, we have. You. We met with engineers. Uh, we met with our committee.
Joe Roger and Mike, and um, you know, discuss variations of what might take place. Uh, we're waiting for some drawings and plans to come back with potential options that we might be able to access. Um, so once they get back, we'll meet again with, with the uh, committee and then come back, you know, get, get some more input as we move forward and then come back to the board as a whole because we're going to have to get moving on this with, within the next month or so. They said hopefully by November, I believe is the timeline they said, that, you, you know, to start the process so they can get in first thing and, you know, to do whatever it is we want to get done down there. Done and over with by the time school starts. Yes. And actually by, you know, mid mid August, sure. you guys are, would be using it at that time. Anyway, so. yeah. okay. okay. Well, thank you for your time. Thanks, you know, th thank you for inviting us. You know, I really appreciate it. I'm excited about it. So, Bob, do you, have, you guys have anything regarding that, or are you all good? I'm just saying that we should actually sit down, and I, don't know, I sat down with you guys before and asked for your input, and we got some good ideas. Um, but there aren't a lot of these firms out there that remodel football stadiums, so we want to get this nailed down so by November, December time frame, we get these guys here in right. you know, June 2nd. If graduation is June 1st, you want their equipment on the ground June 2nd, so right. we can get that facility ready for the next season. Thank you. Question, Coach Wolf. Yes. Uh, why did off the gas first? <laughs> <laughs> After that. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about, Friday? <laughs> yeah, well. Okay. I, I know, I know from the pressure team side that it's a pain right in the butt because you have to, on a Friday night home game, you have to take all of your equipment, put it in that back room and stuff all mm -hmm. that. How much bigger do you think that building needs to be to easily accommodate what you want from both sides? Uh, I, I, you know, and I'm always trying, I mean, like, like any coach, you're trying to build your program. You know, so I, I'm really, really trying hard to get as many kids as possible. I think it's, you know, a, a great thing to be involved in uh, uh, athletics. But right now, I think we're maxed. Um, so I have 37 on the varsity level, and I think the junior high, because of some of my numbers we're going with some other programs, uh, the junior Wildcats and so on, I think we're, we're, we fluctuated between, you know, 33 and 28 in that range there, sometimes 36 with the younger level, and it's, it's, it's packed. I know it's packed. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's packed. Um, Do we need to double it? Uh, I, I, I would definitely be able, I would love to be able to see more room down there. Um, uh, more, more square footage would, would be beneficial. You know, e even the, the lockers that are there are the, uh, are the wooden lockers that were built and they're, and they're great, but it's just not, it's a tough, being in there for, I, I, I mean, I'm living there. I live there from August to November and with 40 teenagers. So cleanliness is a big thing that we promote and, and, and preach. And the kids take care of it and so on. But having the old wooden lockers in, in a tight, tight space and so on, it, it just breeds sickness and yeah. viruses. And, you know, so it's really hard to keep clean. Um, so yes, I would, love to, I would love to expand it and, even, and put like metal lockers you know, to where you can light wipe them down, easy to wipe down and so on, and disinfect very easily. Um, Randy, if I could add to that too, I'm a big fan of stealing other people's ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, so if there have been some some facilities that you've been at, and the, the ones that have been redone recently, I'm all about networking with with those coaches. Yeah, and, yeah, absolutely. Even even those school districts, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We can take a look at, hey, I remember being at Valley View, their locker room you know, was more than adequate. Let's get those dimensions. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, and, and, and to answer your question, Mr. Enslin, I mean, I would love to be able to see it get bigger. Do I, get, can I give you a double it? Uh, sure, <laughs> you know, uh, absolutely. But, uh, but it's, you know, the, when I first walked in, when I first got hired, to be honest with you, I was all, I said, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, wow, like, wow. So I was lucky enough the next year to, you know, uh, and some people in the community donated. I was able to get it painted, and so I mean, it was black ceiling, black lockers, black floor. It's hard. To, I mean, who wants to really be a part of something like that? So I was able to do some things there, but even like the, uh, I mean, there's not, there's really no true coaches' room. Like it's, it's the drying room that we're that we're in, and which I'm not complaining about that. It's, I mean, so to have the kids be able to have a bigger area, a nicer locker room, have be able to store their, their stuff and keep it there safe and so on, um, and have more room and not be 
you know, literally on top of each other while they're getting changed and so on. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would, I would definitely would, we definitely could use a bigger facility because hopefully from this point on, my program's not going to get smaller. I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping that it's just going to keep on building and building and building. You know, my I think number is 40. I'm still shooting for 40, 40 guys. So I'm hoping to get more than that. We have 60 kids in the spring that utilize that. Yeah, the weather was, you guys are is more. very unpredictable. And yeah. Randy, all the our existing guys, facility is 5,000 square feet. As a percentage wise, how much more room? Well, do now, is, is that for the locker room or the is whole, that like the, the whole session? Thing. The whole thing. The whole thing? Yeah. Uh, I mean, so you, with including the boys, the, the men's and ladies' bathroom and the, in the concession stand? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think we need more than that. I mean, I wouldn't think we need more than that. If we reuse that, that entire space, um, I, I, I don't, I mean, it, it, it's tough for me to visualize, you know, exactly, I mean, how many, like, I would think that would be able to work, you know, depending on the, on the design of the building and so on, you know, and how it would be, have to be redesigned, I would assume, with the concession there and the, because the, the bathrooms are pretty big. Yeah. They're, they're, I mean, there's, there's a pretty good, pretty good amount of stalls and so on there. In other words, double the size of your, what you have for the locker room. So uh, you, that want guy, to, you want a coach's room and a team room, so you guys can meet and review film there. Yeah, well, I mean, we we, we, we utilize the locker room. Like, do I, when I say team room, like for other, for other, uh, like we watch film in our locker room. So I people pull down, you know, we, we figure it out and we do it, you know. Um, would love to have a classroom or a team room in there? Absolutely. I mean, a lot of facilities have that for, for other athletes. Yes. Um, when I say a separate building, I'm saying for like, you know, so we're in there and then soccer is another one. You know, so soccer has their own spot to be able to put their, their, their stuff, whether it's boys or girls or junior high, whatever it might be. So that, when I was saying another facility for a team room, I was kind of looking like, a, like another facility for another program. Um, but as far as that 5,000 square foot area for me, uh, in a, in a lock, two locker rooms, for the freshman team as well as me, and in a team room area, yeah, that, that would probably that would be able to work. Yeah, I mean, you, you can, I'd have to see the design of the building. Mr. Uh, Black, you want to say yeah, something? Yeah, I just wanted to ask the board, how many of them have actually been in the team room, the football team room? Yeah, so if you've been in there, imagine, right, from <coughs> where we're at, where you're seated, basically to the wall, putting 40 kids. 35 kids, and half of them are 250 pounds of big, some big kids. So, and trying to watch, seated on benches, right, um, watching film or yeah. whatever they're doing. So it's a very, very, very confined space. And of course, it's just, it, it's, and, it, and it's, I mean, like even the training room, the, tra the, the, the training room was small and it's crowded. It's, it's. Yeah. It, it, it needs to be, it needs, it needs to be updated. Holes. It needs to be cleaned. It needs to be like it, it, it it's old. It's old. I mean, just the bottom line, it's old. It just, that's what it is, you know. Any other questions or? Guys, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We'll be Hope I didn't scare anybody contact. away. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Bill with all that old talk, but other than that, I think you're good. <laughs> um, well. I'm going to go see thank my family. Yeah. So, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, guys. Thank you. I sent thank the YAC mini grants. Yes, uh, I know you have a little update for him. Yeah. 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 Yeah.